Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Story Darlings podcast. I'm Sandra. And I'm Tara. And today we have a very special guest with us, a friend from college, David. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm David. Um, you had to have a good time. <laughs> Is that, is that introduction enough? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess. I heard this is a, I heard this is fun, so I figure why not I join on and see if the rumors are true. <laughs> we have a very fun episode for you guys today, and we are so excited for David to put his input on it. But we are going to be discussing Kissing Booth, um, one, two, and three. Yay! David enjoyed <laughs> himself watching these movies, guys. So did I. I mean, they're fun <laughs> popcorn movies to watch. Mm-hmm. So this third Kissing Booth movie came out over the summer. It's like the perfect summer movie. They do everything that you could possibly want to do um, outside. But these are based on books, right? I mm-hmm. haven't read the books. Have you? I've read the second book, but not the third one yet. Okay. I know. I'm weird. <laughs> I watched the first movie and then it was like, you know what? I'm going to read this book before the second movie comes out. And then Yeah. And the author I... is Beth Rekels. And she was like 15 when she wrote these books, which is very apparent when you're mm-hmm. watching the movies, at least. And uh, she I just, also... Huh? I just found out they were based on books. Like, yeah. 30 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> So, so clearly David I, has not read the yes. book. Uh, should have done is, some research. This this is a quality content here, people. Hey. <laughs> she also went the Anna Todd route from the mm-hmm. author of the After series and initially published this series on Wattpad. So I have not personally read anything on Wattpad. Have you, Tara? Yeah, I read the After series on Wattpad. Oh, you did? Um, I went back and did it because I wanted to know what the difference was, so yeah is it more harry styles there wasn't i mean i didn't grasp a whole lot of differences but yeah you could definitely tell it was fan a fan fiction <laughs> um more so than you you did after yeah you know it was rewritten before we jump into kissing booth david how are you no, I'm good. i mean I'm good. yeah we're we're all parents here we all went to college as tara yeah. mentioned unfortunately we, i know unfortunately you loved going to college with us don't lie uh, sure well, let's say that <laughs> i mean we've <laughs> no, all known kidding. each I other it. for i know what 18 years now at this point yeah, was sandra don't age us don't age us yeah, 2003. 2003 yep yeah david David asked if we could say children's names on our podcast and you know Just we were down be... for that but not ages not we do ages. not say ages Airport. okay <laughs> yeah it was it was a long it was a, a golden years it was good times really good times Sandra and Boone's Farm <laughs> <laughs> hey Boone's Farm is good <laughs> and cheap that's what everybody drank back in the day in it was day literally was... like three dollars yes, and I would get drunk I off think... like five sips I Bones think it's farm. still like three dollars. <laughs> do they still sell it? Yeah, yes, they, they do. do. Huh. Not that probably... we know personally yeah. at all. Sandra owns stock in Bones Farm. She has to, to have to given her. It, it has not been kind. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. No, but everything's great. Everything's going good. Kids are okay. Um, yeah. Planning for a wedding. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. Complicated since everything's in Colombia, but making it work word on the streets is you have a long ass bachelor party list oh my god (laughs) i did not anticipate it to be that big but we'll see maybe people will drop out right now i think we (laughs) we have 40 people commenting it's like it's like a town so we'll see what what are the plans that's yeah the plans are no plans so like where like where do you want to go we i think we settled for new orleans Mm, so, I still haven't ever gone. Yeah, I've never been either. So hopefully it'll be fun. Yeah. Hopefully it's very can. pretty, but you're probably going to do something different than the museums and the churches. Oh no, we're going to the museum, trip. the botanical gardens, <laughs> the churches, very um, wholesome. the bookstore. Yeah, it's, no. yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a PG, PG bachelor group. party. Yeah. Wait, no. when, when is this happening? Is this happening during Mardi Gras? No, no. Well, now that you think about it, maybe we should be doing Mardi Gras. <laughs> Sandra's like planning this bachelor party <laughs> right. 
No, we're um, it's March or April, one of the two. We haven't decided yet. So, so Mardi Gras. After Mardi. Yeah. Gras. Post Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. Oh, hmm. Mardi Gras is like February, right? I think so, it's like the beginning of March. March. I could yeah. be wrong. So we'll probably wait till after Mardi Gras. Hmm. Probably April. Um, I was reading, and you can organize your own parade. So maybe that'll be fun. Why not? <laughs> right. Somebody needs to video that. <laughs> yes, if, if you do, if you do a parade, you. really? <laughs> see, I'll video that. I want to see that. We'll organize our own parade and just get drunk. No. <laughs> the companies that do that for you, just pay them. They get all the paperwork done. Apparently, it's what I found on Google. So I need to actually research it to make sure it's true. Legal protection, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So wedding planning and a bachelor party plan—that's. Yeah, very time consuming, I imagine. What's up with you, Tara? What's new? Not a whole lot. My kids just ended their soccer season. Both teams were undefeated, guys. Undefeated. Do they actually I'm keep excited about that? I guess that's, they do that's... score at that age. That usually happens when you don't keep scores, or do they? <laughs> they did, David. Thank you very much. Rude. <laughs> Is Jason your co- Justin your coach? I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, and he got a lot of compliments. His head's probably really, really big right now because all of the parents of Michael's team were like, we want to sign him up with you next year because you did such a great job. And I'm like, eh, daddy. No. Do they have to pay? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What club is yeah. it for? It's Sporting Columbia. So yeah. tied to Sporting KC, KC. but yeah. yeah. I didn't know Jason coached soccer. That's Justin. Why do I keep calling him Jason? <laughs> Why am I thinking about Jason? <laughs> this is not a Halloween time. episode. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, good point. No, I didn't know he coached soccer. Did he ever play or he? Yeah, he played up until his, like, I think sophomore year of high school. And then he decided he did not want to run anymore. So he quit. That's fair. And he just started playing tennis fully. Mm. Good. So, yeah. David Dietz to play soccer? I haven't played since COVID. David runs like a gazelle, people. <laughs> I haven't played since COVID. I'm getting back. I will be getting back to it. I, I, I would say more like a cheetah than a gazelle, <laughs> but <laughs> no. no. Yeah, I'll get back to it. I need to get back to it. I uh, haven't played in a while. And I'm afraid as soon as I get back out there, I'll po- <laughs> pull something and be out for. The, the old man syndrome is going to yep. kick in. Yep, that's my fear, but we'll see that's okay yeah yeah what are you guys playing i mean we just finished t-ball so that's kind of a sweet and a sour for me but um yeah i haven't been doing anything i mean vincent finished t-ball i binged season three of you what else have (laughs) i been doing squid game is next i'm gonna watch that one next have you guys seen that one Uh, no but my kids told me that it's like the best show in the world and like it's your kids watch it wait they watch squid game no they they should not be but they told me the other day because they'd seen a preview and i'm like dude you're not watching the show no (laughs) jenny jenny has already seen it um i'm on episode one so okay (laughs) yeah i'm gonna start watching today probably but she's watched you right she watched the whole season I don't think I, she's seen season three yet. I didn't ask her about that. I haven't seen anyone yet, any one of them. You would think that season three, because it takes place in suburbia, is like maybe the tamest of all of the seasons, but some crazy stuff happens. From what I'm hearing about it, is it like Dexter? It's kind of like Dexter. So Dexter, you, Dexter was terrible to me. So maybe I shouldn't want. I, you I didn't like it. Some, I did I not like. I didn't like the last season. I think I stopped at season three. Didn't he Dexter. like fall in love with his sister or something at one point in Dexter? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember like, like the details of it. All I know is I was highly disappointed by the last season. <laughs> and they did a remake, right? They are doing like some kind of oh, okay. something. We'll have to look into gotcha. that. But yeah, I mean, nothing else. Let's let's go through sweet and sours. Tara, you go first. So my sour has to do with my kids' soccer because my daughter broke her wrist in soccer practice a few weeks ago. So (laughs) she has yet to make it through a soccer season without a broken bone. So knock on wood, maybe next season she'll make it. I don't know. But that's my sour. 
Um, I did not prepare a suite. I just was thinking about my sours. Talking um, to David, having David as a guest on the show. I know. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen you yeah. guys. I haven't seen a fa- your faces in a long time. Yeah, since yeah. pre-COVID at least. Because yeah. last time you spent the night at my house was yep. like, I don't know, like two years ago. Yeah, yeah same and then here. He just, Labor Day. He just yeah. like annoyed me about not working at all as he sat there playing games with my kids while he was supposed to be working (laughs) that was the first time I learned about that imposter game I don't know what it's called um among us among us your kids that's all your kids love oh is that the one where you try and figure out who did who's the killer or whatever oh I want to play that your kids introduced Mm -hmm. me to that game (laughs) my kids are obsessed with that game they're still playing it Mm mm-hmm yeah they keep going around saying that's sus mom i'm like seriously (laughs) yeah i still haven't played it have you been playing stardew valley at all me or tara you me yeah right i've been stardew valley i have my switch on my nightstand because of stardew valley (laughs) which do you like better though animal crossing or stardew valley stardew valley yeah (laughs) I think the only thing I don't like about Stardew Valley is they should uh, the time is too in a day is too short. If they would have made it a little bit, it stresses you out. It stresses me out. <laughs> too much pressure. It really does. <laughs> I think I'm like clocking every week. I'm going through a full year because <laughs> I'm just like you know what I quit. I'm just gonna keep. You're playing a doing lot. What I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing a lot. I've been yeah. playing a lot. I haven't made it through the first year yet. Oh my god! I'm on. I think I'm on year four, maybe something like that. <laughs> And your I just kids, got it. Yeah, your kids would love this game, Tara. The f- little farm Probably. game and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You heard he's making a new one, right? Yes. The chocolatier. Haunted chocolatier. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, yeah. yep. Definitely going to get it too. Yeah. So Tara, what's your sweet? Oh, shoot. I wasn't even thinking about that still. I'm, I'm a horrible <laughs> I, person. I give you all this time like, to think about it. <laughs> I know. And I was just paying attention to these games. Um <laughs> My sweet is, oh, I do have a sweet, guys. I got a new job. So I start in oh. a couple of weeks in a new position. So oh, yay. That's be my sweet. Yay. Congratulations. Is it the same place yeah. or somewhere else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the same place. Nice. Just a different department. Yay. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe I forgot about that. And that I know. You didn't tell wasn't me. It wasn't like a right on the top yeah. of my head sweet there yeah but. last i heard was like the interview gauntlet that you were going through the other week yes good lord there was a week where i had so many interviews i couldn't i was like i'm not doing anything outside of interviews this is it it's all the brain space i have that's good congratulations thank you david what are your sweet and sours <sighs> what's my sweet um flag Talking football to us, obviously yeah that's exactly what it is oh. <laughs> he's like no that's my sour no, guys. that's definitely my sour uh sweet there's no flag football today it got canceled for, so i don't have to go sit in the rain and watch my son play flag football for okay okay i'm kidding <laughs> it's not a sweet it's okay he's not there <laughs> we right now so he's he's allowed to say this the son right. is not present <laughs> well i don't want you to to kill me <laughs> to come after me for <laughs> not wanting to watch my son play <laughs> um I don't, I don't think like i mean i'm there with you i don't enjoy watching my son play soccer either like th- there's not a whole lot going on and it's just no, it's boring it's, it, my, it's, my daughter's team's a little bit more yeah, okay it's harder it's harder for younger kids but they seem to love it so we just we support them however way we can right mm-hmm. look at me being mature i know i'm like <laughs> I'm the first like, guys <laughs> Like, who is this person? All right. Okay. This is this is an alien in the body of David right yeah. now. I yeah. wish all the listeners out there could have known David 18 years ago. I mean, the day we met him, he just like barged into the room, like didn't even <laughs> knock or anything. It was just, you know. Wait, did we meet him at the face. bowling thing, like the first night of college? Like, I don't remember I that. Feel I, like, I remember I feel meeting like I Pratik. remember him. I only Pratik. remember meeting Pratik and Sergey, and I thought Pratik's name was Boris. <laughs> <laughs> David, did you go to the bowling thing like this first or second I night? I don't remember. Probably. I mean, it was international. I feel so like I remember did. meeting David at that. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look across the room and see the handsome guy over there, you will remember mm-hmm. that. That's right? exactly what I was picturing in my head. That was the, the description. <laughs> the tall, dark, and handsome guy the over there. Handsome. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Yes. I mean, coming from Arkansas, it just opened your eyes to a whole new world. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> and this is why we love David. Yes. <laughs> yep. point. Okay, what is my sweet? <laughs> We're not going to get to the the movies at all during this no. episode, guys. We're <laughs> okay. just going to um, maybe so, get through our sweet and sours. Man, my sweet actually last night for the first time, I think I I went to bed a little bit early. I went to bed before twelve o'clock. No shit. That was, that's a before midnight. That was a, that was a sweet. Wow. Right, and woke up at got at least eight hours last night. I'll say that's a sweet because I can't yeah, tell you last time that happened. That's unheard of. Eight hours of sleep. I know. I'm usually. It, going to bed at three four in the morning and have to wake up by seven or eight so that was you know that's not healthy for you right yeah we all have to die sometime right (laughs) for david it's just gonna be sooner it's gonna be sooner i mean alcohol i've taken it i've taken a lot of my life i'm giving sleep some time to catch up (laughs) was a was a sour um i missed out on the housing market i guess but i guess it's a sour and sweet we're looking at we're looking to sell our house and move so we got everything done got the whole house painted moved everything out got a storage unit and then we i think we decided we're gonna stay so but it's a sweet and sour i mean yeah 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 i would say so our ac went out we had to get a new ac so i think that was that was what pushed out to push us to stay because we we're like hey we're not gonna move anywhere with a brand new ac so in our house we we like it. We like it. We don't love it, but we like it. It can do for a couple more years. So, yeah. But I guess it's a sour slash sweet. Adult life. Yeah. Thanks. Hopefully, we can go back to college days, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't think I would survive. I, I, I think we would do it a lot better than we did the first time. You nope. Think I'll so? do the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm with David. I'm like, I'll be drunk every day. We're not creatures going to of classes. habit. Yeah. I learned from some of my lessons. Well, good for you, goody two shoes. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying like the drinking and that stuff would go away, but like some of the other stupid yeah. crap. Yeah. The, the only thing I would do different is how I spend my money, or should I say, save my money. Yeah. Probably mm-hmm. I won't be spending a lot of alcohol, maybe investing more if I was in college. That's the only thing I would have done different. But I'll still be trying to get free liquor from somewhere. So, yeah. I'll still be. That's about it. I think that's a sound investment, like financial. Yeah. We should sell my, try I and get they, free liquor. Yeah, free of true. I hope they would have taught us that in college, right? But it's a very useful thing, guys. Yeah. Sandra. Um, sour. I'm I'm gonna reuse the t-ball thing. Vincent just finishing t-ball because I don't know. It was cute going. To watch him i mean on the other hand it does free up time on saturdays but now i'm just like what do i do with this extra time uh sweet i finally got a pre-order book in so i'm gonna start reading that one i started last night but i passed out really early and i too <laughs> got like eight hours of sleep last night which is unheard of for me so pat on the back for both of us so yeah that's mine nothing what book? a shadow in the ember it's like this adult fantasy romance very smutty i'm trying to get tara to read it <laughs> i'm i'm going to have to yeah i'm i'm re-listening to the after series at work which is both good and bad but if your co-workers only knew the filth that you were listening to on the clock <laughs> i know i know she nobody does. listened to this part okay Do you hear that everyone <laughs> yeah my co-worker listens to um ghost stories nice <laughs> so i was like hmm. i i also listen to podcasts about like murder at work too and one of my former bosses keeps sending me different podcasts he's like this is great this is great the the cousin killed the other cousin it's good i'm like okay okay <laughs> so we we share our love of murder podcasts Got you. and david just so you know sandra is now only allowed to do her sour first and then her sweet because she was taking the podcast. I'm a big downer. Yeah, I can't. I can't help it. 
you know. So we we right. now have a rule that Sandra has to end on the positive side. Well, I think that means she needs to give us one more sweet then. Uh, there's literally <laughs> nothing else, and that's how I'm going to bring this back down. <laughs> oh, wow. her, her whole life right now is revolving around that book. <laughs> Kissing Booth. Kissing Booth one through three. Kissing Booth one through Let's get into three. it. Tara, hit us with a synopsis of what this overall series is. Okay, so you have Elle and Lee and Noah, who are all somewhat friends, but Elle and Lee are best friends. They're the same age. Their mothers were best friends. They were born on the same day in the same hospital. They just have it in their blood that they are going to be best friends for life. And Noah is Lee's brother. Noah is freaking ridiculously hot. Very hot. Um, really <laughs> yes <laughs> yes david okay. he is freaking ridiculously hot um and l has a crush on him and you see through the movie this crush and it develop um but lee and l have a set of rules and one of those rules is that you do not date your best friend's brother and so l is trying to hide it and all of this and then you kind of see their shenanigans throughout the movies. That's kind of a very short rundown. Yeah. I would and say they were, like... more, they were more like family. So we made it weird that they, they kind of had a crush on each other. David, did you watch the movie? Because they get together, right? <laughs> yeah, you know I know. That. We, we really <laughs> makes it weird. It's like, I mean, they, were, they grew up together. They had Thanksgiving dinners together, birthdays together. So it's like. It's weird. It's really weird that it's like she was hitting on her brother, that she dated her brother. Tara, don't fall. He David's was really hot, though. He really? Uh, Jacob Alordi. Yes. For some he, reason, I okay, can, I, we need I to do. They, they looked alike. Him and Elle looked alike for some reason. I was like, these two look the same. He's they like seven foot four, alike. and she's uh, like five foot. Facial, facial features. I don't know. I couldn't get that out of my head. Sandra, maybe you should pull up a picture and look at the two and see. Maybe I'm right. I maybe mean, I'm, right. I'm very we, familiar with what he looks like. With what like. he looks like. <laughs> I think we have looked, it he memorized. Looked, he looked better in the first one than he did in the second one. That haircut in the second one wasn't doing it for me. Okay. David, we honor your perspective and your opinion on this. But I'm yeah, wrong. You're your wrong, guess. but <laughs> we, we, will, we will accept it. Yeah. But I mean, they're like high school age, right? Elle and Lee. Mm -hmm. Is Noah in high school? I can't remember in the first movie. He's, or... he's a senior year he's a senior. Okay. in high school, the first movie. Okay. But these are like upper class white folks. They go to a private school. They have Very their uniform. little uniform. They're all very privileged and and yeah. in Elle's case, a really little uniform. Really itty bitty <laughs> uniform. Mm -hmm. We need to do a poll and see if David is wrong or if me and Sandra are wrong. So we, I think you we, should. If we need to like do a poll on Twitter or... of like, is Jacob Lardy really hot or Can you not? use the picture he had in the second one? I feel no, like... we're going to use his hottest <laughs> picture shirtless. I mean, I feel like do the our poll way. that we just ran kind of already indirectly address this because Noah uh, blew Marco and L out of the water. The poll I the point I took. Um no, I did the one what character are you? And I ended up being Lee, I think. Oh yeah, um, the character quizzes. So every we each took a BuzzFeed quiz, which we'll link in the show notes, but Tara and David both got Lee. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. he probably had like the best description paragraph. I didn't get to read L's though, so I, I can't say whether or not his was the best, but it was very sweet. And well, compared it. to Noah's, I got Noah and I I just didn't like it. <laughs> didn't agree with it? No. I thought he's so hot. You should be happy you got Noah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I Noah. Mean, one one of point. the lines was that you are like, what was it, a heartbreaker or something like that? Like, no. It was Sandra. Did I didn't. I just didn't college. agree with this. I'm going to retake it until I get something <laughs> get else. Some, I hope you always get Noah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like now logged in your computer, right? <laughs> Cookies. You will get Noah every single time. 
So I'm going to read Lise. So Lise says you're the most like Lee Flynn. You're really caring and empathetic. You want the best for your friends. You want them to have what makes them happy, even if you don't agree with it or with their decisions. You're sensitive and a little bit of a romantic. Your soulmate is very lucky to have you. Now, I don't know that I agree with, and this is going to sound bad with David being this, because I don't see David as a a super romantic. No, you don't think so? I know you're caring, but like, I don't see you. I think David's romantic. I walk around speaking French around my house all day. Oh my God, here we go. romantic. Okay, say something in French. Huh? Come on now. Merci. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Ooh la la. Yes, super um, romantic, David. We watched, super. We watched the Adams Family the other day. And <laughs> Which one? Car, we watched the first one, and the kids. I think like, I see the second one. Like the eighties one? No, or the, the newer, one? the newer cartoons. Okay. Oh. And the kids in the car now have been holding Jenny's head and been doing the kissing, and the kids crack up when I do that in the car. <laughs> just because you know, so I'm romantic. We, we just watched the second one. Um, with mm-hmm. the kids and I'm trying to convince Carly to be Wednesday Adams for Halloween because I think it would be really cute that would be cute that would be that would be a fun costume I really wanted Michael to be um Pugsley though he, he's not going for it the one the one thing I think that I'm similar to Lee is in the second one when he was supposed to tell her you come in between our relationship and he didn't, but he pretended like he did. I think that's something I would do. So Yeah, I, I can see that, David. <laughs> that's what I, like, yeah, I definitely me. can. I'll just play it out. I just hope nobody ever finds out. Yep, that would be me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's smart, right? It's Guys, a David was a little shit in college sometimes. <laughs> like he, he was a shit stir. <laughs> it's a win-win for everybody, you know? They both think that is, is the right way. Just make sure they never come together and have that conversation. And everything works out. He has it all planned out. He's exactly it's David. Out. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why didn't why didn't you like Noah, Sandra? Read the Noah's lower... and let's let's see if we think it's you. It's How not about that. I, I must have been in a bad mood when I took the quiz. <laughs> Noah's is you're like the hot caring Noah Flynn. You're confident, badass, and a total player. So not true. In college, you kind of were. You you kind of were in college. <laughs> Tell me, just... <laughs> I mean, the Sandra I maybe knew not now, before, not but... now, but before kid Sandra was kind of a player. No, anyway, <laughs> even though you behave like that deep down, you have a lot of emotions and a yep. caring heart. Yep. Even yep. if you don't want to accept it. Yep. <laughs> people who don't fall at your feet attract you. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Only those you love know the real you. Yep. I think it's spot on. <laughs> I think right. it's bullshit. I think. The, the person who made this quiz, where they're like sitting next to you when they were writing these things, or... I mean, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's true. I think it's true. Oh. No, I guarantee if I took it later, I'd get something else. I'll get it like L next time. Watch. So I, I want to know what L's is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll if you take it out. later and get Noah, are we stuck on the wall? Are you going to keep taking it again? I mean, I'm going to take it again. Not right now with you guys watching, because obviously you would bias my results. Oh, okay. Are you going to change your questions, your answers now to try to get out? <laughs> okay, this one I'm changing to this answer. So, yeah, so. Oh, no, still no, I got to <laughs> change it to this one. Yeah. Anyways, back to the movies here, people. <laughs> the first movie is basically Elle and Noah trying to hide the relationship from Lee and literally everybody else in LA or wherever the hell they live. And then it works out, kind of. And then the second movie, we're introduced to this character named Marco, right? Chloe. Who Chloe. is a snack. Now, now and Chloe. 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 Yeah. Chloe is gorgeous, too. Which this <clears throat> also, to back up a little bit, Jacob Elordi and what's her name? Who plays Joey Elle? King. Yes, they were actually together, like during the filming of the first movie. Second movie, they were broken up in real life. And it's just like, when you think about it, when you watch the second and third movie and think about them being broken up and just what they have to act out, it's like so awkward. I don't know how they were able to navigate that, but 
He probably realized when he cut his hair, he wasn't as hot as everybody thought he was. She's oh, like, yeah? I gotta, I gotta Is that it, David? <laughs> I have to leave this dude. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, you're not nope. a 10 anymore. You're, you're, like, a a you're like a five. Like a hard five. five, a six when I'm on Bones Farm. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Poor Jacob. No, but I still, I still think he's a ten. So you know. I mean, yeah. Now Chloe's a Chloe's like a nine. Oh, she's. I think they intentionally did that and give it a British accent too to make it. To is she really British? I didn't even look her up. I don't know. I but don't know I mean, either. what's the crazy thing? Is she looks like? I guess Jacob started dating Zendaya. Hmm before really yes yeah when they were in euphoria together yes yeah so that's what made it even more awkward was because chloe kind of has like the same very petite she's like tall and slender with the petite frame Mm -hmm. that zendaya has and the whole story in the second movie was l was very jealous of this new chloe girl that Jacob went away to college or Noah went away to college and was friends with this Chloe girl. So she was Mm -hmm. just very insecure and stuff. And it would just be really awkward to act this out just because of the parallels between what was happening in real life and then this movie. And then the third movie, what's our plot there? What's our major plot? David? I mean, he's watched half of it. I've watched half of it. (laughs) I mean, it's just her, her trying to choose what college she wants to go to. And yeah, that's about it, right? And trying to manage. Which brother? she's going to college for yeah because lee wants her to go to college with him and noah wants her to go to college with him which and so it's like not even just her getting to choose what college yeah. it's her having to choose between the brothers yeah so can we talk about how toxic and codependent lee and l's friendship is yes Dear really Lord, they need to get their own lives it's just like you and sandra <laughs> first you and sandra first minute terrence right Two girls from Arkansas, became roommates. We were never that bad. We <laughs> had our own shit. Your, your Michael Owen poster and your Pirates of the Caribbean. Was I not supposed to say all that? I still <laughs> like my Michael <laughs> Owen poster. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you still have it? But see, even then, we were into different things. Like Sandra loved her Johnny Depp. I was a Michael Owen fan. Mm, and for yeah. those of you who don't know who Michael Owen is, he is a soccer player. Well, was a soccer was. player. He's a little old now, but anyway, was a soccer player for the England team. You guys went everywhere together, classes together. Mm-hmm. It was. We it didn't was, have that many classes together because yeah. I was in sciences and she was in math. Yeah, math. Oh yeah, it was. It was what, really. Oh, it was. Yeah. Who did all my math homework for me? I don't remember. <laughs> Who did I copy of <laughs> Westminster? You yeah. need to like look back and take away David's degree. He just <laughs> probably like Nate or something. Yeah, Nate. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Nate. <laughs> uh, no, did you guys not have rules in college? Both of you when you came, you guys have rules. You were roommates. Rules? You have to have had some sort of. We rules. didn't have like a friendship bucket list or something obnoxious like oh, Ellen like- had. What are you talking about rules? Like, did you watch no, no. I mean, Tara and we, I did struggle with communicating, though, yeah. freshman year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's why well, we didn't talk for like two like years. The next sophomore year and junior year, we didn't talk at all. No. Remember, I like moved out and started living with she who shall not be named. <laughs> I was drunk. The whole time, so. <laughs> like, for those yeah, three years, I, I don't remember anything. I don't remember any of it. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> oh yeah you lived yeah. across the hall across the and i lived yeah. with he sh- who shall not be named <laughs> good ex- good experiences learned there yeah uh-huh. see that's what i'm saying i think going back to college for me i could have done things better looking back so much better i learned from shit yes i think do people actually have these rules have you i've never heard of anybody like, create these friendship rules or I don't know. I mean, I mean, you have some in general, like there's like the, the girl code where like, don't date your friends, which I think guys, we have that code like, too, right? Well, yeah, not yeah. David's friends. Yeah, they we don't. have codes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have codes. <laughs> Whoever calls dibs, that's a code. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh no. Is this a family podcast? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> 
Don't let your children listen to this. No. Especially this episode. No. Or no, the I'm, after one, if we're right. like being serious here, that one's not a good one either. You know, one thing I'll say about this movie is outside of the whole kids and high school thing, there were some pretty, pretty good lessons in there. Pretty yeah. mm-hmm. It was, they could have done something good with it. I mean, every every movie had a decision that had to be made or she had to deal with a mature, mature mm-hmm. situation, you know? And her choices, like, in the end, the second one when she picked, um, you guys thought Marco was hot too? Yes. Really? With her shirt <laughs> on or off? <laughs> Both. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what it is, but really? Yes. But there were some, there was a strong lessons. I mean, I, was, I, I like that how you just got distracted by no, like, you <laughs> he was hot. <laughs> but yeah, there were, I mean, and there were the second one actually, I think it got deep. That's why I'm I, you know what? I'm actually gonna finish the third one. Because the second one, I mean, you could tell that he was in college, he was really going through certain things that they could have mm-hmm. elaborated on more, right? But I like how they linked the fact there was a scene when Marco tried to fight him on the at the football game mm-hmm. and he was holding his fist and chloe calmed him down but then she was looking at them and i was like i that used to be me kind of thing like i was the only one who could call i guess she, i felt like she was looking to see if he was still he, he had anything going on with chloe or if he was still i don't know there was a there was something i was i was like hmm, this is interesting i think yeah. there was a there were a bunch of strong lessons to be learned and i, I like the, the one <clears throat> go ahead God. I think the one that they didn't do well in is the communication. Like Sandra mentioned, communication is key, mm-hmm. but they did not talk. And David, you mentioned it earlier where like it had just been nice if Lee had told his girlfriend and Elle well, what the was situation was. Oh, uh, don't, don't miss call me. I didn't say it was a good thing. I say it was, <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> I that their communication was, was not great. No, it was not. And you brought it up. But and, best friends like, it wasn't. It, it would have been better if they had communicated in the same with Ella and Noah, like during that first movie where she was having problems being jealous. Like if Noah had just said, hey, I'm going out with Chloe. Here's who she is, blah, blah, blah. I think Elle would have handled that better than him trying to like leave her intentionally out and then her seeing pictures of him with her. But he because also there was made... a reason he was intentionally leaving her out. Yeah, but he also made a the comment. Earring. He made a mm-hmm. comment that Chloe was good for him. Mm-hmm. what did he mean by that you know the shooter elaborated a little bit more on it probably because chloe was an actual adult and all the rest of these fucking people are children mm-hmm. yeah so he well missed- and chloe chloe was the most mature like in the third movie you see her put him in his place and be like do you love her if you do you need to do something about it. you yeah. need to communicate with her and tell her and fix it because yeah. both of you are wrong yeah do something so yeah. I do really, really like Chloe. Yeah, I appreciated her character. I felt so many times like Noah's character, He, even though he's only a year older, especially in the third movie, you know, with Lee and Elle's summer shenanigans, I was like, oh my God, they are like literally just overgrown children. Well, yes, just children. And Noah is having to like communicate with his girlfriend and she's just like, in a different phase of life or something. It, it, there was just such a disconnect between where he was at with college and his future and then her, like with her little mm-hmm. summer job and doing all of this Mario Kart crap. And yeah. which I, I love that I scene. want to do that. Yes, that looks so much fun. Did you get that far, David, in no. the movie? No. Oh, <laughs> you'll love that scene. Uh, this is one of their bucket list items. So they dress up. Who is who? Who dresses From what up I read, she missed Marco it. is is mario yeah but he wasn't supposed to be a part of it he was like no l was mario lee was peach Lu- oh yes and marco was one of the bad ones was he waluigi or wario wario mm-hmm. yeah and then they go and drive actual go-karts dressed up as mario characters and they're like throwing crap at each other driving and making each other crash that was i was in stitches laughing so hard at the scene and i want to do it so bad dude, why, why don't the, you like the blonde dude who like slapped her ass in the first movie Tuffin. was in there too i don't remember his name i just remember yeah Tuffin. i did like when he walked in in the little skirt i thought that scene was great yeah. and then she slapped his ass mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And then I like Noah's look at him, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, 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 they did a lot of good stuff. They were, again, I felt like they were, except there were a lot of things that they did. Uh, there weren't any bullies, right? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. Usually you, you see these stories of there's a, they were in a dance club or they bullied someone who they didn't think was popular there wasn't any of mm-hmm. that which is good good lesson to learn in the second one right when she pushed him when the when he, i forgot his name but he was in love with the other guy and she pushed him to it and then when he when he kissed him finally and even his friends were happy for him right mm-hmm. those yeah. kind of those were i like those things about that movie you don't, yeah. you don't see that a lot in it moves There's a lot of acceptance you don't stories. see the toxic like you see the relationship being toxic but not yeah. the part like the toxic people yeah All right it was yeah. It was um, it was good. I, I actually think it was it could have been great I if think, I was fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> you need to finish the third movie. And a girl, but <laughs> yeah, fifteen and a girl. You need to finish the third movie though because they did have some really good moments of giving them the opportunity to grow. Okay. Not mm-hmm. together. Like they had to make those hard decisions. Like spoiler alert, they did break up, yeah, and I it was that. like years before they got back together and figured their shit out. So they finished, well, and they, they finished don't college. Even, mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. They don't even say if they actually end up back together because the last yeah, scene is him walking mm-hmm. away again, and but you hope he turned around. You hope that they ended up together because yeah, but they don't actually show it, and she turned around too. So like. Mm-hmm. You're hoping that they ended up back together because they truly loved each other. But I guess they didn't have any um, COVID regulations in there because they were kissing everybody the whole time, right? <laughs> <laughs> this COVID is La La Land. <laughs> Nothing bad happens. God, that movie sucked. <laughs> La La Land. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Just, oh my god! Just, is that the one with Ryan Gosling? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to watch it then. And just what's for it, him. Emma, is it Emma Stone? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now she is hot. Ah. Have you seen her in Cruella? She looks really yes. pretty. Yes, she is really. Yes, she is hot. Wow. Mm-hmm. Emma Stone and Kira Knightley, two of the hottest women in in movies. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it for that's me. That's not. That's not the first. That's time a I've hot take it. right there. From that David. is a hot take. Mark yeah. it down. <laughs> I think what Kate I think. Beckinsale. Yeah, she's hot too. She is gorgeous. Her, yeah, I mean she she's is. a little older, but she's still yeah, like age, she's, she's like old. one of those vampire people. And I know, like going back, she played a vampire in one of her very yeah. first roles. She but still looks good. she is one of those vampire people that I'm like, did you age? Like in the last ten years, this picture looks exactly like this picture. Like, That's true. What's going on? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, guess it, was, it wasn't bad. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I won't watch it again, but <laughs> I think it, was, it, was, it was like your just summertime popcorn movie. That's straight up like what it was. Just fun. Did if you have you any favorite? Huh? That you don't have to pay attention to. Yeah. It's a good yeah. movie. If you have a screaming child in one ear, you know, and you're just trying to <laughs> tune out life. You want to see some really hot guys. Yeah. Or, Clo- or Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Definitely Chloe. No, yeah. and they, they should have told us what um, his parents did. Right? No, so we could get that job. I mean, right. Well, his mom have... was a real estate person. Oh, yeah. She was. Molly his dad did. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I mean, I mean, they have a beach house, a mansion. He had a Mustang at what, in junior year? Mm-hmm. It's like, like I want to know like what Like a like 67, 68, 69 mm-hmm. Mustang. I don't know. And that, like, time frame i mean you could tell i mean her her options how did she get into that private school though i mean if she couldn't pay for harvard but they didn't even mention the money aspect of noah going to harvard right this isn't that type of movie so, money is not an object <laughs> in this I, plot. I guess it was i mean they hung out at the beach all day it was it was uh, good well, well life right her there dad, her dad was like a doctor or something wasn't he no i don't no i don't think so they never he, said he anything did. i feel yeah. like they alluded to what he did there was one scene that had his computer open, but it never really, they never really said. These people, uh, they were in a different echelon. Okay, yeah. this is this is like the like home buying shows that you watch, and it's like yeah. I like, do <laughs> yoga, I'm a t- and he's a pencil sharpener, <laughs> and our budget's a million dollars. That's what it is. 
Oh man. And then the oh my the oh my god girls. Were you to the oh my god the OMG the girls? OMGs. In, the OMG David, girls come in on high now. school. I don't want maybe who's your third who's the third one of you guys in high school? Were there you guys wasn't like, a third one. We didn't have the a third you? friend, David. <laughs> you were it. <laughs> was it. You were it. <laughs> the omg girls and yeah again i expect them to be like horrible bullies but they were actually not that no they were just annoying they, they were just yeah they were just right? kind of like not all there in their own little world mm -hmm. and nobody cared right it was it was a good except lee that. because he was crushing on one of them yeah mia or yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I just found it funny that all of their names, like it was like Olivia, Mia, yeah, and yeah. Gwen or something. So they were literally the OMGs. I wish in the second one, they started a little bit of talk about how hot he was getting. And then it just didn't, it didn't oh, continue with, with us. Yeah. And it didn't continue with that. I wish they would have like kept him going and then have the OMG girls, the one he wanted into him. To Whatever. He drama. ended up with Rachel, kind of. I don't know if how when you stopped watching the third one, David, but Rachel ended up like breaking up with Lee. She was annoying anyway. But they got <laughs> back together, so <laughs> take it back. They did, yeah. Right. They ended up getting married. She was annoying. No, I, mean, I do agree with David a little bit on that. Like she came into it knowing that he was that close of a friend with exactly. Elle and his then wanted life. to change his entire life. So I do agree that she came into something knowing yeah. that that's what it was and then had a problem with it and it's not like he was secretly in love with her right they were friends yeah. it was strictly friends and he was yeah. trying to make everybody to keep everybody happy so i think this maybe me and david are like the same person because yeah. i feel like we are agreeing on a lot in this yeah. movie and sandra's like no it's true i'm it <clears throat> yeah <laughs> you guys are very surprisingly on the same page <laughs> Let's talk favorite like scenes or quotes or something from any of the movies. Okay, my favorite is the snack scene where Elle is talking of about Marco for the first time. Surprise, surprise. And they are Over like, the it's, it's on the intercom. And that's what makes it so great because she's just like going to town on her descriptions about how hot Marco is. And it's cringeworthy, but it's also super hilarious. And everybody is hearing this and Lee being the sweet, loving, caring guy he is runs out of his class and like, yeah, gets hit by a lot of crap as he's trying to run and stop her from like doing this in front of the entire school. Love that scene. And then I also like the fact that they like show him working out during part of that. So, yeah, that's right. They did show that scene, didn't they? Yeah. So that was Marco the only candy. Thought, we don't even know if that was Marco really. I mean, it was totally him. We we really don't. It he did been... not. He didn't have a body double for that scene. Come on. It, it, he probably did. No, that was. That I mean, was all I'm too. okay with that. Whoever that body double is is. I think the try, snack in my opinion to too. Force the hotness on his character. <laughs> his did. character was hot, David. They did. They tried to force it. They he tried was to make cute. him a guitar loving play person. Like I don't know where this dude plays in the band, and he and. At the end of it, when everybody was saying, when she asked, who's that? And then or whatever, and everybody would turn and say, is Marco or whatever. It's, it did try to force the hotness on him. So who do you think? They wanted than? him to live up to Noah. And That's what it is. Who do you think saw than him or Noah? That is actually covered in our, our poll that we just did on Twitter. Oh, really? Um, oh, I yeah. didn't see that. I, I, support I think the poll Noah results. is better. Noah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, Marco was Doesn't pretty mean high. Marco's not a snack. Yeah, Marco is a snack, but he Marco was like high in my opinion until like the third movie when he just started mm -hmm. trying to egg Noah on and wouldn't take no for an answer basically and just kept coming around when he knew Elle was in a relationship with Noah. It's just like that's a no no, dude. Don't do well, that. If you, well, if you love something, aren't you supposed to fight for it? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, no. This is like da this is like <laughs> David. This is who David is. Is. Not if she's already <laughs> in a relationship David and tells care. you no. That's no a, means a, no. You, your husband's a soccer coach. Just because it's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to snort on the podcast. Take it, take it for what it is. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is like my favorite quote right now. She had, she had feelings for him. 
And I mean, maybe he was right for her. Who knows? I mean, the official stance of the story, darlings, is that no means no. <laughs> there is no coercion <laughs> into doing anything that someone does not want to do. That's what no Tara means, and I stand no by. No means no yes. in general. No means no in general. But that doesn't but, mean you shouldn't. Okay. If she has feelings for you, you can pursue her, right? There can is they... no but, David. No but. <laughs> so, so David is, okay, if it was just Noah telling him no, okay, mm -hmm. I get your goalie reference. But mm -hmm. also, L told him no. And that's the no that counts. But she did say there was something there. But she said no. I know. She said he wasn't the one, but what is it possible that she was just doing that because she was confused well if she's confused he's well, not she gonna was. help it she was in high school she she was confused and she didn't know the whole story between chloe and noah so it's possible maybe he should have i'm not saying he should have been aggressive but he could do things <laughs> like send her flowers write her notes write her a letter i mean nobody does that anymore right in fact i'm gonna write both of you a letter <laughs> You <laughs> can have mismatched stickers. Not, stickers. not dearest, a love letter. Not a love letter. Oh, definitely not. My dearest. Sandra. You guys, you heard yeah. it here. So if something happens to either of us or both of us, <laughs> David knows something. He he should have. He could have still pursued it to see, not aggressively, but you know. I think that's what he did. I feel like he, he did. made an ass out of himself. Yeah, because yeah. he tried to fight her boyfriend. Like she told him no, and he kept pursuing. Like. I get it. Maybe wait a couple months, see how it works out with Noah, and then pursue it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And not try to fight him at a football game. Not try and make everybody. her a cheater either. Yeah. So technically, he made her? I mean, okay. No, I said not try. But try. To. I mean, he, you don't, she wanted to, though. There are some teachable moments from Elle's perspective. Mm -hmm. Like she did, she did kind of she leave him on, him. keep him around. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. From the from the get go, you could tell that she was into him too. Like when they were out playing, when he was playing the guitar, and when he became a band member. Did you sudden, see him? And and she was like, you could tell she was uncomfortably attracted to him, <laughs> standing there. And even when he came to, uh, she was into him. So she gave him those vibes. So I. Uh, maybe that's why he tried <laughs> to pursue it because she had feelings for him and he was um, hoping he could i love the eye roll that sandra just gave <laughs> oh yes i'm like queen of eye rolls i can't help it it's like my eyeballs will just roll back there and never face forward again um ever again <laughs> ever again didn't didn't your parents tell you not to make look right. or not to do that something It'll yeah stick. i yeah. forget stuck in your head <laughs> i mean Everyone in this this whole three movie thing had like codependency issues and attachment yeah. issues. I don't know if it's because they're just young and haven't experienced anything else, but like no one was taking no as an answer and just like no, no one, one was, was communicating. communicating. So it's just like all of the arguments between Noah and Elle, if they would have just like came forward with, hey, guess what? So, you know, Marco is working at the pool as a lifeguard. Or he wants to be in on this costume thing for Lee. Mm. If they would have just said that, it would have saved some arguments. But and the parents didn't or, do anything. Her dad was the only one who said something at one point in time. But the parents were all just the kids oh, were just doing whatever uh, they wanted. I was so proud of the dad when he yes. spoke up against L for her being a little brat about him dating mm -hmm. that that woman. Yeah. Like good for you because yes, you deserve to be happy too. Yeah. No, they just sat there. Um, at the Thanksgiving dinner when everything blew up and the parents just sat there and didn't see anything. Like, what kind of parents are those? Hands off. That's too a little too hands They're off. They're like, live like, your life. No. Y'all need to shut, y'all need to shut up. Sit fuck down. <laughs> Let's, eat. This, <laughs> Let's eat. this is Thanksgiving. We are gonna be dysfunctional together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if any of you leave, you don't you get cut off from the family just like that. You like put your foot yeah, down. No more beach house. We're loaded, so <laughs> exactly. you don't want to do that. Yeah, they, they would have shut up in a second and sat there. They just let them do whatever they want. And yeah, I, uh, I think yeah. it should have been a little bit more hands-on and especially her dad, a dad. And that was another story that I feel like they could elaborate. Maybe they did in the third one. Like he had or in that the book, sad, David. 
Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll read a book. <laughs> he had that sadness in his eyes the entire time, right? You could tell mm-hmm. there was something missing in his life the whole thing. I wonder if he's in anything else. I didn't even, I looked up all the other characters except him. What are the roles? He looks play? familiar. I, I swear I've seen him in something else. But yeah, I mean, I was, I was proud when he chided Elle for behaving like a little selfish brat and not wanting him to be mm-hmm. happy because he deserves it too. It had been years and years since his wife died. Come on. Yeah. I, I, I will play devil's advocate about the, like the game piece. What like because piece? that was well that was what l blew up at the oh the, lady the little first, scotty dog she took she took the game piece and that was the game piece that l's mother always used and so that was like a thing that l was holding on to do you think l was like completely lady... justified blowing no up no i'm playing devil's advocate okay. here that like i know like there are certain things that just hit you when a parent dies and if somebody tries to step in on those yeah. Even, so like I think L just later. had like an emotional reaction to it. Gotcha. Yeah. And did not handle it right. So I was yeah. proud of her for going back and telling, like, I don't remember her name. Sorry, this is why I blew up at you though. Yeah. Fair point. Did that you guys was... ever see there was a TV show called a unicorn? Did you guys ever see it? No. No. David watched no. a TV show called The Unicorn. Well, it's um it's it's a sitcom. But I was about, just about to say something right, yeah, exactly. and it was not but PG at all. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good because it was about a, a divorced dad. Oh, not divorced, sorry. A widowed dad and his two daughters. Mm. And that just made me think about it and how... Why was it named went, The Unicorn? Because apparently a widowed man is a unicorn for women. That's... that's Really? Their, that's the premise of it? I'm going to have to premise. look into that. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm intrigued now. Yep, and all the because all the women want him, and that's this that's poor man. Was he really cute? Died. I don't think so, but they. I mean, but again, you guys have already told me like my taste is. <laughs> Your taste in men sucks, David. <laughs> yeah, so I can't. I, I should have been a judge of that character, but I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think it, it got, I don't know if it got canceled or not. I'm going to have to look into that. Where was it playing on? Like where CBS. was it? CBS. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it got canceled after two seasons. I hate when they do that. Yeah. But I thought it was good. I liked it. It was one of the few. <laughs> I'll have to I look liked. it up too and see. But yeah, but it just shows how he, and then the reason I brought that up, because there was a lady that he started dating mm-hmm. and it became a thing with his daughters emotionally tying it back to something there was a scene where it went back to their dead mom yeah because actually with him actually there was one scene where this lady another lady he was dating started playing a piano and if i remember right nobody has played it since his wife died something like that mm. and that kind of hit him hard that was a trigger yeah mm-hmm. that hit yeah him i mean hard it happens so, i uh, think devil's advocate there is like a little bit of an emotional reaction yeah, to there the is. game piece and not necessarily him just dating mm-hmm. but the game piece the game piece makes sense so um. you like the snack comment huh <laughs> i thought that was i thought that was a little too much uh, it was a great like that was I a th- hilarious I, entertaining I, scene i thought it was too much mm-hmm. like nobody ever acts like that in re- I mean, I thought it was a little too much. But oh, the whole the, yeah. I mean, the whole series have, though have is you, that way. Have but... you been involved in girl talk? Me? No. Yes. Is that what you guys? I feel do? like I've had girl talk <laughs> with David. I've like. But we, we have. I feel like I have too, and I'm like David. I know you've heard me talk about like. That, but that's a little bit too excessive. Guys. I think she was just too excessive with it. Yeah, a little too. I excited. think she was doing that on purpose. I mean, like she was trying yeah. to be funny. When Elle goes hard, she goes hard. She doesn't half ass it. She goes all the way. And that's why we adore her so much. Yeah. All right. What was the scene you like, David? Whew. It's a tough one. Or not necessarily liked, but got a few chuckles out of. Out of. Um the mini like- skirt scene the first i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no he's not really that was the scene <laughs> for him it's like oh i like this movie let's see what happens <laughs> her butt cheeks were just like butt right there right. no that would have um, had to have been embarrassing walking up 
everybody staring at you and you're like, yep, I got to wear it. You got to wear that. So no, you can put something else on. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, my it was a uniform. Scene, my, I think my favorite scene was um, when she chose him over Marco at the end, the kissing boot at the, at the end. Mm-hmm. You know, cause that was, a, she, she seemed mature in that decision that she made at that moment right yeah this there is something here but i can just go around all willy-nilly and following every emotion i get or going down and chasing every thing yeah penis can i say penis on this (laughs) (laughs) every penis that comes out that i want to every penis i want to hop on i just get going around chasing it (laughs) no that is true (laughs) you know she she actually made a decision was like hey this is going to require work but yeah but you have to be a little one. discerning about yeah yeah okay you're not, you're not the one right and then she went to find him yeah right and that was at the end of of two at right two. yeah and a two yep yeah yeah that was a good that was a good one i think that was my favorite part of the movie the two that i watched yeah mm. for sure sandra what about you mine are like quotes so these are all from the third movie. Well, you were just writing down and taking notes as no, you were watching I, the movie? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do, David. That's what we do. <laughs> really? If we remember, mom brain is an actual thing. Next time I'll make sure I take notes. Don't act like you're better than us. I don't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a quote Marco said, you can't hold on to someone. The tighter you hold on, the more they want to slip away. Like, so true. He did it with Elle. And then Elle was mm-hmm. basically doing that with both her friendship with Lee, Lee and Noah. And Noah. Mm-hmm. Is that true though? The title you hold onto someone. Yeah, it's like, yeah. You suffocate them. Everyone's mm-hmm. different though. Clean. Everyone's everyone's different. Some people like the clean. But like her, she didn't have anything going for herself. Like that was just for That's her true. that she was working on. Like everything was about somebody else. Yeah. Um, Elle said at some point in everyone's life, there will be a moment when you feel there isn't a single place on earth where you actually belong. It was just like a sad. Tara, why do you ask Sandra, Sandra to tell us what she liked? Is that what you like? Not what you you hate about life. <laughs> Sandra's like, this is, this is, I oh feel this God. comment. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> Sandra, positive. David, stop positive. being a positive. stupid Please. dick. Let positive. me have my feelings. What did you like? <laughs> positive. I like that stuff. Positive things that you like. Ne- you know, okay, give us give us one positive comment that you wrote down. For that me. is a positive comment. No, sometimes a, you just need to be by yourself a, and that's think an it That's an emo comment. So that's an that emo is comment. an emo. <laughs> I meant a positive. Give us a positive <laughs> comment you learned from this. Now she's looking. All how right, many, all right. How many pages have you flipped over by now? Here, here, here's a positive. She's like, one. no, not on this right. page. No. <laughs> Guess loving each other isn't always enough. Maybe not. Oh, sometimes the timing just isn't right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not I sure that that's positive. Explain positive to her. <laughs> but I mean, okay, it's not a happy quote, but it offers like some explanation for it's an educational quote. Education. Yeah, okay. like sometimes so, the timing just is not right because there are so many things going on for each person involved. I will okay. turn it into a positive because, like, in the end, thank you. They did get back together, hopefully. Six and they were later. more mature and they were <laughs> able to handle the relationship. Whereas if they continued going like they were, they would have ended up broken up completely. Yeah. Like they would have been able, like they wouldn't have been able to like stand each other. So yeah. there you go. Like the timing wasn't right. See, thank you, like, Tara. At some point it might be. Yeah. It's not and here, here's negative. another positive one, David. This is, one, this is a positive one. Okay. So sure? don't try and spin it. <laughs> I know how you spin it. <laughs> okay. People pass through our lives. Some of them fade into memories, but a few become part of who you are. Yeah, There's a lot okay. of like, you know these could be better. hanging on like walls in your principal's office. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like everyone has some kind of influence over, an- over another person and you take that with you forever. That experience mm-hmm. becomes a part of who you are. I think that's good. That's a good David, one. I lock my door because of you. <laughs> there you I go. still don't lock my door. You learn a lesson. <laughs> just, I right? never learned. I never learned. There I also go. like, you know, check David's hands as he leaves the, the house and you know, like Food. put a little thing sure. over my thermometer. Or not my just thermometer, sure. the, my thermostat the, so that the David AC. can't 
Chandra, David Chandra, just makes positive sense. positive scenes. I want to hear one from you. I mean, I like the Mario Kart one. That one was okay. just stupid fun. Go. Like when they're just throwing water balloons or like silly stringing each other as they're driving in these ridiculous costumes. I really think we costumes. should do that. We should find a place somewhere. I don't somewhere. know if I trust driving next to you on a track like that. <laughs> Me or David? You. You, <laughs> you Tara. You, you Tara. Rude. <laughs> I have never been in an accident, okay? Surprise. Ever. Tara, weren't you Where the I was driving. fall when there was ice on the floor? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Ice is slippery, David. Well, Jeez. there's like a little bit of ice. <laughs> yes. I mean, like in a car. Okay, I've been in accidents. You can barely walk. Why would we trust you to drive? I was in an accident. I'm a better with you in the driver, car, David. Were yes. you driving? No, yes. the, you weren't driving, were you? Yes, we were going to Deja Vu that night. We went to Kim's <laughs> house, right? Yeah, it was me, you, and she, I guess you said she who should not be named or whatever, Alex. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we had we had left Kim's house. Someone t-boned us that high school kid in a pickup truck or yep. something mm -hmm. yep i remember that yep fun times and you guys were in it was cold outside and you guys were standing on the side of the road in the shortest skirt ever <laughs> out of way for the cops <laughs> yeah that was that was good times that was the see yeah. one more accident than i've been in oh sandra it was in another accident i remember in her well no we, we're not even going to mention this one with, with Marco. With Marco. Yep. <laughs> I I wasn't going to mention that one, but like it just fits. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, you're a dumbass. Sandra. When you're like 19, 20 years old, you're just stupid. You're an overgrown child. I, I stand by my comment that like I could have learned a lot and redone college. I would still do the same thing. With without some of those dumbass decisions. Whatever, David. You got us pulled over like coming from a mcdonald's one night yeah i would still have done the same thing nothing nothing would have changed it was all it was all fun and good times david doesn't learn from his mistakes it was all fun and good times we, we got we learned we got a lot of good experiences yeah we it. still learned our lessons yeah. that we needed to and yeah. here we are we're we know everything now our everything is perfect and we're passing yes. that along to our children guys oh dear god <laughs> this country is doomed <laughs> So I have a comment that I really like that's very similar to Sandra's. Okay. But it was it was one it, when you decide to escape reality, you know eventually you're going to have to come back to it. I really like that one. Like you I do that every back. time with a book. Well, like <laughs> you should. You should, Sandra. You should. <laughs> At some point, you should, unless you're in like a mental ward, in which case maybe not. But yeah. So you guys yeah. talk about the the scene in the third movie, right? The go kart scene. Remember at the mm -hmm. start of the second one, they had like the Olympics or Olympic Day or whatever the, they called it, where they were playing games, the leg rape. Oh, <laughs> the leg. Yeah, uh, to play the whole game, the, to put a bunch of games, volleyball. Oh yeah, rope, yeah. Tug of war. Yeah, I thought that was a little where where the dude too. took off a shirt and won. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's I, always taking off their shirt. In that yeah. movie, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a little excessive. I thought they could try to force the whole Marco thing, Marco and her thing, when there was no way she could be competing with Marco. Right? I mean, in fairness, he would have won every time. He works out, well, based on the video that we saw. We never really saw him working the out. The fake working out. The fake working out. I mean, but I, I feel like they tried. So I'm, is, it, is the second race part the same as that one, or was it done a lot better? I, feel I like think it, it was really cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was still outrageous in the sense of this would never, ever happen at a go-kart race track anywhere. Challenge, challenge yourself. I, I feel like there were legal legal ramifications of that because, yeah, they crashed all over. All, all over the place. But, I mean, I it would like, be fun to do this. Yeah, and if they had enough yeah. money, that they could, I mean. Just look watch at that off. scene, David. Just watch that scene. I'll watch the whole off. movie. I'll finish, okay. I'll finish the movie yeah what about what you guys didn't like about it i guess what scene was was not your favorite sandra you don't have to speak on this one you've already told us tara <laughs> <laughs> i don't like how they like tried to get in between Elle and noah like every turn there was something driving them apart in the first movie it was because they were grown kids 
you can't keep still talking about Rue 16 and Rue, and you always have to break a wishbone with your best friend and you 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 grown. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but then there was like Chloe and Marco, and there was just always something. You have and to grow up. I wanted I wanted them to get together. I wanted them to like be together. It's the same and, thing as the after love. series, right? Like you yeah. wanted Tessa and Harden to just work through their shit and just be together because when things were good between them, things were like they amazing, were mind-blowingly good. Like that's your soulmate good, right? But it goes back to like the timing thing with Elle and yeah. Noah. It's like, I mean, I understand why they couldn't, but I wanted that. Yeah. But six years later, that's like such a long time. Mm-hmm. At least to, Tessa and grow, Harden right? only had to wait like two years. Yeah, that is true. One thing I would say, though, one thing I liked about this movie, nobody, well, except for their mom dying, nobody died in the end. You know, sometimes they bring up where either Noah would have died or Lee would have died and they would have dragged on the emotions because. Yeah. So and that's that would that would have been how they solved the problem of who yes. to pick. Yeah. Well, much. it's out of your hands now. He's dead. Move you were you were second pick, but he died. So every time somebody like when when Lee drove well. off the first time, I was like, "Come on, Lee, run off the cliff." <laughs> when, no. Whenever someone was gonna, even in the end, when they when they when she went to the airport and he went to the kissing boot, I was like, "This is the perfect time. Somebody needs to crash." right here and then one person gone problem solved Movie okay in. david you're no longer wow. allowed to talk about sandra being a downer <laughs> that's true yeah that's true. come but on you now a lot you see you're, a lot you're lot like movies. wishing for people to die this, just, this is expecting. not that kind of movie i was expecting At least sandra was just slightly emo you're okay. like full oh. on like kill the person <laughs> i was expecting it but i'm glad they didn't do it so you need to watch made... you no just please that's, watch that's it please like, it is such out. A good character study. Two serial, apparently two serial killers now having babies and movies. they're really likable though. Joe is really or, likable. Or if you want a movie where somebody does die, it also stars Jacob Lardy. It's called Two Hearts. So you're expecting it the whole movie. No. See, I hated the notebook. Okay. <laughs> Nobody died notebook. in the notebook. Yeah, they, at yeah. the end. Yeah. No, she got dementia. No, they, they died, died in each other's arms to, yeah, at the that was, same time. Uh, okay. That was like but so. Like, that was like at the terrible. very, very end. It was ridiculous. Like that just ruined the whole movie for me. Like I watched it to the end and I was like, okay, this is ruined. Just because of that scene. But yeah. Like, sometimes they try to. So just don't them. watch that scene. Like it was it's at just, the very, just very end. Don't watch the, <laughs> like the last one. Scene. Like yeah. just don't watch the last 30 seconds and you'll be fine. I'll be fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm glad they didn't do that in the kissing booth. They made it. They. They worked out their issues like grown folks, hopefully. Yeah. They just and missed out on died. six years of each other's life. I'm good. It's time to grow. She did she did she get on Marco within those six years? Who knows? Yeah, I guess you she, don't know. Maybe they need to make another movie just for those six years, right? Get right what happened. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> See what happens. Maybe she has a kid somewhere that she doesn't know about that lives with the dad. Oh, well, she knows about it, obviously, or hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, she does. Uh, you know, that's a different movie, right there. Movie. If she doesn't <laughs> know about it, <laughs> right? So maybe does she do like a the after the after years or something, kissing booth the after years or something like that? See what happened in those six years. Kissing, kissing booth, the in between. Mm, cool. Well, there we go. Yeah. The kissing booth does make an appearance in every single movie, right? It does. Yeah. Uh -huh. It really yeah. does. Well, does it in the last one? It did. Like, I think okay. it was right where they, like, saw each other again. Noah and Elle. Is the kissing booth a real thing in general? <clears throat> I'm sure at some places so. it is. You guys didn't do it in Arkansas? I don't know. Maybe you I know there's a punch joke. comment coming. Is there, a, punch, is there no. a punchline coming? No, I just want to know. <laughs> if this was a, the two of you are the only people in the like. We I can said. see your eyes, David. <laughs> we know how your brain works. I can see the, the <laughs> wheels turning. Yeah, like schools just allow kids to have kissing boots and just go around kissing each other. Maybe in Cal. Yeah, in the rich. Um, yeah, if my parents mm -hmm. pay enough money, I can do whatever I want. Kind of school. Mm -hmm. That's funny. <laughs> That makes sense. So no, yeah, I mean, it was a it was a cute movie. It didn't have your high school bully trope. It didn't have anyone yeah. dying. No, nothing tragic like that. It was just 
a fun movie about yeah. codependency, really. Because really, mm -hmm. their friendships and relationships were toxic as fuck. So if you would have taken Ella out of that movie and put Sandra in her place. <laughs> is this Sandra like... would be living the life with Jake Velarde right now. I'm like, every six problem years, is worked like, out. Is worked guys, out. <laughs> I don't need any additional six years. I'm like, I'm going to start making shit happen. This is going to get fixed right now. Bye. Sandra would Please. never come back to reality. No. Like she would never have to come back. She would just be living there. Living there just forever. No, I mean, would you, Sandra, do you think you would have, do you, would you have done things differently than she did? Would you? I mean, A, I wouldn't be as outgoing as her. True. Very so true. that would be toned down a notch. Yeah. But yeah, I'd probably make some better decisions with Noah. I w Noah wouldn't get away. That's that's the learning here. Because he's Sandra's like, I, I would go you. stalker. <laughs> so if 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 a Sand guy is hot, he could get away with anything he wants. No, Sandra's learning a lot from the show. You. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Please watch it. No. <laughs> Joe Goldberg has some redeeming qualities. And I see all these memes the online that the girls are like, they could fix him because he's so It comes from like a good that. place, Tara. <laughs> Is it, did he ever get caught? Does it? I, I guess, guess I we'll see in this, season yeah. four. Yeah, I guess I don't want to, you don't want to do spoilers. No, I don't want to do spoilers. You just have to watch it. At first, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to hate this guy. I'm going to be disgusted. He's going to make my skin crawl. By like the second uh, episode, cute, you're going to be like, so yeah, I'm yeah. going to live with it. it. Like, yeah. No. Okay. This isn't about you. <laughs> or David. Oh. Or, or David. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. We talked about synopsis of all three of them. Favorite scenes, favorite quotes. Anything else we have? Any last words on Kissing Booth? I'm just really glad. That, oh, oh I, my gosh, he is so handsome. And for all of you that are listening to this, David's son just came into the video. Um, yeah, with a dog. In the background. In his um, Spider-Man so costume. So me and, me and Sandra, he's they all, and girly. They all just son. immediately said, oh my God, I want to have another baby. No. That's, that's, no, I'm good. That's, that's all good. Um, we'll just we'll just look at other people in a non creepy no way. <laughs> people know would have been okay. <laughs> no. Well, I wish maybe maybe like ten years ago. Ten years ago, I wish you both have. I don't have the energy to be a parent anymore. Lord have mercy. It's exhausting. It really is. <clears throat> it really is. This is another episode no. on not having children. <laughs> We, Another we birth were, control episode. If, we were if lied you to. learn anything <laughs> from this podcast, it's communication and you don't want kids. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It is a it lot. It's a lot yeah. of work and a lot of money. They're cute. But they are cute. Sometimes. All, you got to show a lot of emotion. So it's a lot harder for people like Sandra. I, don't I have feel any. like... <laughs> Sandra has a lot of emotions, David. I feel yes. like you are the we one know. without emotions. I have plenty of emotions. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, fair point. No, Sandra is a good mom. Yeah. She's very sweet. I'm a great mom. A great mom, I was about to say. <laughs> Just, she's okay. All right, I'm going to- I was coming to Sandra's now. defense, not like saying a negative here, okay? Do you, Sandra, does he like reading? Yeah. So you okay? Yeah, we well, love story time. Kid. And Tara's kids like video games. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> hey, Vincent likes video games too. I like video games, video True. games and books. So Carly and Michael like to read, but Michael is fascinated with math. Like, ooh, you could go up to him and just be like, "Here, do this math," and he would love it. So, would you let your kids watch the Kiss and Booth? Yeah, it's wholesome. I would not let them watch after right now, but Kissing Booth, yes. So after is a TV show or a movie? It's a, it's movie. a movie. Really? What's it called? After. After. That's it? That's it. Yeah. 
2019. After and After We Collided. That's the second movie, and they're both on Netflix. And then After We Fell oh, will be coming out watch. next month. Yeah, After We Fell. Maybe Rated I should R. Watch. Wait, After We Fell, September 30th. It's already released. Well, in theaters, That's in but theaters. it's coming oh. out. Uh, so there's three Netflix. of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's gonna well, be there's going to be four. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should watch that. Don't watch it little, around your kids. Put a little romance in my life. Yeah, it's a little awkward if your kids come in on certain <laughs> scenes. Mm. Fair point. Now I see why Tara likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Tara's just listening to her, like, her romance audiobooks and All right. murder stories at work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just I have up. I have like two different like things that I like I like you know the thirteen year old movies which after is not but like those kind and then murder like there's not a whole Tara's, lot of in between. Tara's just sitting at work scared and horny all day. That's the two, that's the two things. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm like I'm dying all day this. long. Can't wait Can to get home. Can we edit this a lot, Sandra? Oh hell no, hell no. <laughs> That was golden. That's that's staying in. A lot. Edit. A lot. Oh, man. Pretty much everything David says. Let's just take it out. out. Tara's like, and we're ending this episode right now. All right. Before David can say anything <laughs> else. Yeah, we need yeah. to have David on for more. Yeah, let me know. Maybe I should watch after. Oh, my God. We can do yeah. a follow up with David. David. After. Yeah. David's hot takes. Hot takes on after <laughs> just you know just what? a whole episode of david's hot takes on after. <laughs> he'll be a, he'll be a monthly guest hot you takes know what with david. i'm gonna watch after and i'll take notes <laughs> that, yes. that could be and an I extra could, episode i could share my notes takes by david <laughs> i could share my notes with you guys on only the sex scenes <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> i, I <laughs> like, like they this. didn't do that right that's that's not real that not you real. can't do that there <laughs> they can do that there <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, we're gonna shut this down now um is there anything we're missing this is it right we need to we need to disconnect this thing yes yeah. yes all right I appreciate you guys having me it was fun yeah this was fun um the david everybody we're gonna make this monthly thing happen so thank you thank you very much careful. i'll make we sure just i gotta track have... david down yeah. yeah no long enough to make him sit here the, for an hour and talk to the us sports season is over now so <laughs> My weekends are a lot open up now. Yay. And it's about to be cold, so I'm not going outside until, what, February? Maybe March. So yeah, I'll be indoors more. All right. You want to conclude for us, Tara? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. And <laughs> Sorry, we're Sorry, I'm just distracted we by, are... like, edit. <laughs> Watch the kissing boot, guys. Watch the kissing boot. Yes, I was yes. I was impressed. It's not a movie that I thought it would be fun to watch, but it was it was so yeah, fun. It was and let us know if David is wrong about Jacob Alardi. You can send us a tweet, find us yeah. on Instagram, Facebook, email us, let us know. Yeah. We I'll, already know, but he's, like, mm, he's okay. All right, these two are going to keep blabbing, so I'm hitting the (laughs) off button right now. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.